Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, My Loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Okay, so today's video is completely and totally unplanned. Guys, okay, so first of all, I have to pre pre preface, preface, I have to start out by saying that I finally left the house today. I finally got dressed. I put real, like, uh, normal people clothes on, like jeans and uh, a bra and nice t-shirt uh, and socks and shoes and everything. Uh, I got into my car and I left my house today. Uh, we took a trip to Walmart because I actually won a, well, one was gifted a Walmart gift card. And so I wanted to go, you know, and it all kind of worked out because my husband had today off. Uh, so we we went on a journey. We took a trip. We went on an adventure, right? Uh, and I went to my Walmart. Now, uh, I live in BFE. I live in the absolute middle of nowhere. Uh, and my closest Walmart is about an hour away. Uh, so it is definitely a journey. It's an adventure every time I want to go uh, and another reason that I don't get to go very, very often. Uh, but we went today, guys, I walked into Walmart and the Lord must have been smiling down upon me because I walked into Walmart. Uh, and I have to, I have to tell you that my Walmart is very, very tiny. Uh, we don't get a lot of the new releases and things like that. And when they do come, they are no longer new releases. Uh, so I'm, I'm very lucky when I find something that's current, uh, and you know, I walked into my Walmart today. <laughs> I found the new Beetlejuice collection. Uh, so I found the new Revolution X Beetlejuice collection. It was very, very picked over and there was not much left. But guys, it was like a perfect storm. It was like a perfect storm. I had the gift card. Mr. Huppy had the day off. I was in a good mood. I walk into Walmart and lo and behold, what do I see but the Beetlejuice collection. And this is something that I have wanted. Uh, I absolutely adore Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I just, I am so in love with all of those things. Uh, very, very kitschy, classic uh, Halloween you know, corny, cornball uh, movies, but they're some of my absolute, absolute favorites. And the fact that I was able to walk into my Walmart today and find, for the most part, almost the entire collection. And not only that, but I had a gift card, right? So it's not like I had to feel guilty for buying it. I didn't have to sit there and think about what I was going to have to give up in the future in order to purchase it. Guys, it, I'm just, I'm so, so excited. I am so excited about the collection and on top of that i am so so very excited to be able to share it with you guys i haven't opened i haven't touched any of it i want to very much experience it for the first time with you guys today i hope that you guys are excited uh if you are into beetlejuice or if you love halloween or if you just have a minute to kind of hang around uh let's do this i hope that you have a big old cup, glass cup of sweet tea a cup of coffee i am drinking a big old mason jar of delicious southern sweet tea right now it is so so very yummy and we are just gonna we're gonna dive into this collection i intend to swatch to high heavens i'm so so excited if you can't tell so, uh, I do have the prices for everything in this collection. This collection is not expensive in the least. I think everything is very, very moderately priced. Um, so I got a couple of the palettes. I got some eyeliner. I got some powders, some lipsticks. And the, like, the best part, right? If you guys have been watching any of my content recently, I did a video a little while back where I spoke about this collection, and I said, uh, what I really wanted was the palette, uh, and the brush set. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have the big palette there, uh, um, they did at one time, but like I said, it was pretty picked over, uh, so they know, uh, the palette was no longer in stock, uh, but that is definitely okay. One of the things that I really, really wanted, though, was the brush set and it was there and I was so so happy I was so so excited so this is the Revolution X Beetlejuice brush set this retails for $12 uh and this uh this brush set is still available 
on the Revolution website. Uh, a lot of the stuff. Hi, Daddy. Are you bringing me Beetlejuice? Show the mamas. Show my mamas. He's all dusty. <laughs> uh, my honey bunny. I love Beetlejuice. He's so dirty and so old. I but do too. <laughs> my honey bunny loves uh, Beetlejuice too. Uh, we were at Walgreens probably a couple years ago and uh, he saw this and bought this for me. But I have to show this to you. It's showtime. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. <laughs> I really do love Beetlejuice so, so much. I'm, he's so cute. Thank you for bringing this to me, Daddy. Uh, anyway, uh, I was able to pick up the brush set. This is still, still available on the uh, Revolution website. Uh, you get, how many, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't cut the tape on this yet either. Um, that's what tweezers are for. Uh, this, like I said, retails for $12. You get one, two, three, four, five different brushes in here. I really liked the combination of the green and purple. Uh, and I, I am a firm believer of the fact that you cannot have too many brushes. Uh, brushes always, always, always come in handy. And these ones are so super cute. <sighs> So this is what they look like straight out of the package. Like I said, you have five different brushes. Uh, you have an ankled brush. You have an eyeliner brush, which I love. You can never have too many eyeliner brushes. Uh, eyeliner brushes, uh, in my opinion, uh, do not have the longest, uh, you know, the most longevity. They get bent out of shape or this or that or the other thing. They get stained. Uh, I think these are just always great to have. I do have uh, just a few of them, but I'm always happy to add another one to my collection. These feel really nice. They feel like a nice wooden handle. They've got a nice weight to them. They're not super heavy, uh, but they're not super light and cheap feeling either. The actual head on this, it's got a little plastic protector on it, but you can see that the actual bristles, the actual brush head uh, is pretty long, which makes me happy. I like a nice long, uh, flick like when you're doing uh any kind of wing or something like that uh, a long brush really helps you get that sh sharp flick so I enjoy that that this is going to be really nice I'm excited uh I'm not I don't really care too awful much about the why is it that they always think that you need a an angled brush I, I swear to you this is probably one of my least used brush shapes and I and they come in every single brush set it's like I will use it I'm grateful I am not upset about it but I just feel like they could probably have put like another fluffy blending uh, brush in here instead of this angled brush and it would have been a lot better but this must be a cheap brush to manufacture I guess because there's just a little bit of I, I have no idea I don't know why they think that we need a million and one of these uh, angled brushes but it's super super cute we then have a, ooh, this is a really, really beautiful teeny tiny pencil brush. It reminds me very, very much of my AOA pencil brush. This is one of my favorite, favorite shapes. It's great for applying brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight. It's also really great for lower lash line work. So I'm really happy about this shape. Do they have names? They do not. They just say Beetlejuice X Revolution. I want to, yeah, there you go. So it's a purple like or maroon uh, brush handle. And then it's got green writing on it. Very, very cute. You have an eyeshadow brush. So this is a flat, fluffy eyeshadow brush. Really, really pretty shape. Uh, super, super usable. Pretty versatile brush as well. And then last but not least, you have a... Uh, I love the size of this. So you have a fluffy blender. But this is a pretty small fluffy blender. So this is one of those that I would call uh, more of like a detail or a crease brush. It's perfect for doing in the crease or outer corner work. One of my absolute favorite shapes of brushes. One of my most used as well. So I'm super, super excited about these. All five brushes. They're super, super cute, guys. I'm so stoked. Uh, this is, was one of the things that I wanted so, so badly. And I'm so, so happy to have it. Uh, on top of that, packaging is absolutely adorby. Uh, I've never used a Revolution brush before, so I'm excited to see how they work. They feel pretty soft. Uh, they're a little bit stiff, but they did just come out of the packaging. Uh, they definitely are synthetic. I don't think they're natural bristles. Uh, I find that synthetic bristles get softer with time. Uh, the more you use them, basically, the better they get. Uh, and they have a good amount of longevity. I find that synthetic bristles last a bit longer than natural hairs or, or natural bristles do. Um, natural hair tends to 
to fray and things like that. Synthetic has a little bit more of a lasting power to it, so I'm excited about that. Uh, that and I'm, I'm just not big on natural hair brushes uh, in general. I prefer synthetic uh, synthetic bristles. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about are these lipsticks. So I picked up the, both of the lipsticks in the collection because they were both available. Uh, these are the Here Lies Beal Juice lipstick. And then I have My Whole Life is a Dark Room lipstick. First of all, let's look at the packaging. How absolutely adorable is that? So here is the front and then on the top of each you have the shade indicator. This one is a nude and this one is a bright crimson. I feel like the shade indicator on this is not very accurate uh, but it's cute nevertheless. Uh, it's a little cockroach on the top. Super super adorable. Let's open up My Whole Life is a Dark Room. This is so, so cute. I love, love, love the packaging. So that is a really, really beautiful tube of lipstick. It is super, super glossy, very metallic, bright uh, crimson color. Super gorgeous. It feels pretty light. Uh, I, I don't want to say it feels cheap because it doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it doesn't feel expensive either. It feels a little dinky if we're going to be honest, there is the actual shade. It is a bright, true, classic red. Let's swatch it on the back of my hand. Feels nice and creamy. Looks super saturated with pigment. That looks really, really pretty. I'm excited about this. I like this more so for the um, packaging than the actual lipstick inside. Uh, I had to pick it up though because I wanted to get as much of the collection as I could. Uh, but I think the packaging on this is really, really beautiful. I love this bright metallic crimson. So, so pretty. And then we have Here Lies Beetlejuice. And this one I think is probably one I will get more use out of just because it's a more nude color. And I don't really wear red lipstick that often. But this is what the packaging looks like. So let's hold both of them up together so you guys can get a good look at both of them together. So this one is the crimson and this one is the nude. Uh, if, I, if, you know, if I'm picking favorites, I prefer the packaging on the red. I just think it looks very cool uh, and very... Uh, it's unique not you know it's very uh what is that word I'm trying to find uh you could recognize it it doesn't look like every other tube of lipstick uh to me this one just looks like another black tube of lipstick uh you do have the Beetlejuice logo on the tube of lipstick it does say Beetlejuice X Revolution uh but that's just about its only uh it's just about the only unique thing about it. So this is the actual color. Let's swatch it. Again, feels super, super creamy. Yeah, that's a really beautiful like brownie mauve color. I will definitely get quite a bit of use out of that color. I think the red is beautiful as well, but this one is just a little bit more of an everyday color for me. I think they're beautiful. Now, each one of these lipsticks goes for $6 a piece. Uh, I think that is pretty standard for a lipstick. Again, uh, pretty affordable. Nothing in this collection was like super crazy expensive. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy about it. I, I think that, uh, I think I just want to keep them in the packaging and just kind of like display it because they're so, so cute. Uh, the next things I picked up were a couple of the uh, cake liners. Now, I am a big, big fan of water activated liner in any form. I just find it to be a uh, it just works best, especially because I have hooded eyes. And on top of that, my eyes are pretty textured. Uh, and I can kind of... Uh customize the consistency of the liner. I can make it really liquidy uh, and really reduce any kind of friction or drag on my eyelid, which helps me get a beautifully clean and sharp, crisp line, uh, which I appreciate. Now, these ones, you get the cake liner, and then you also get a small angled brush. I wanted to talk to you guys about this teeny tiny little small angled brush, though, because it's just about the cutest thing ever. It is this really beautiful, almost like royal metallic purple. Stunning. It's got the bright green green bristles. It looks super, super cute. Screams Halloween. And then the actual cake liner looks like this. Now, uh, upon first inspection, I thought these were the exact same liners, just in different packaging. But on closer inspection, uh, I found that uh, though they're both white, uh, one of the swirls, the swirls in the center is what gives, is I'm assuming what gives them their different colors. One has a green swirl and the other has a black swirl. So I do want to hold both of them up to you guys 
and show them to you if I can get it out of the packaging. Yeah. So that's what it looks like when it comes packaged. You kind of pop it out of that little purple sleeve. This one comes with a brush as well. So this is what they look like together. Uh, one is called Barbara and one is called Adam. So one is green and one is black. I'm assuming when you get it wet and you swirl it, it kind of like changes the color. Let's kind of, let's try it out real quick though. Let's see. I'm just going to spray. Yeah, I can already see it turning green. So I just sprayed a little bit of setting spray in there. Yeah. So as you can see, you kind of like swirl your brush in there and it turn and it turns it green let's swatch it and see what it looks like on the back of my hand so that's a really pretty pastel kind of green that's really pretty not the color that i was expecting but very pretty nonetheless it's almost like a like a very much like a pastel kind of green and i assume that happens because the green mixes with the white but that's what that one looks like this is the adam shade and then the barbara shade i think it's super cute that they have different pictures on the front so this one is a sandworm and then this one is uh, you know when they're trying to scare Lydia and they make the faces that's one of the faces super super cute uh but the Barbara one I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of setting spray as well and you can already see that it turns uh pretty much black let's take that other brush yeah like you swirl it in there and it instantly gets black I think this is going to be more of a gray color than anything else I think that's really interesting, though. I've never seen a cake liner set up that way. Oh, well, that's pretty dark. It's it's a really pretty, like, dark charcoal color. So that's really... I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. I don't have a uh, gray, any kind of gray uh, cake liner. So I am down. I am down for this. These were, again, $6 a piece. Just about everything uh, was $6 a piece in this collection. These are super, super cute. If you're into cake liners, uh, I think that these are adorable. I can't, uh, you know, say anything to the actual, like, wear time or anything like that. But they do look beautifully pigmented on the back of my hand. Yeah, they look pretty. They're really, really pretty colors. But there is them swatched just in case you were wondering what they would look like. There it is. We're going to move that packaging to the side. Okay, we're getting to the palettes. We're getting there. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build to the best, in my opinion, the best parts of the collection. So I also picked up this powder. This is the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice pressed powder. Um, it says it's a white base. Uh, I did look up. This was six dollars as well. Yeah, this was six dollars as well. I did look this up on the website. This is still available. Both of the lipsticks are still available as well as the cake liners. They are available as well. The only things that weren't available were the makeup bag, any of the palettes, and like the bundles. Uh, this was indeed still available. Like I said, I tried to look it up and really figure out what it's supposed to do. Um, it's basically just a white powder. Uh, it says that this is great for uh, a white base uh, to make other colors pop. And uh, I don't know, I haven't really looked at it yet. So I'm intrigued to see what the actual compact looks like. First of all, the packaging. This probably is some of my favorite packaging out of it, out of all of the products uh, that we've played with so far. I just think this is so classic Beetlejuice. I just love the black and white stripes with the bright green lettering. It's just super, super cute. I love it so, so much. I will probably end up keeping this in the packaging and keeping this unicarton just because I think it's that cute. Um... Okay, so this is adorable. So you have the sandworm on the front. It's basically eating itself. It's eating its tail. And then you have the Revolution X Beetlejuice. And then you have the name of the product, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Powder. Uh, it says, never trust the living. That's the shade of the powder. I think this compact is super, super adorby. I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, definitely happy that I picked it up. I almost didn't, but I figured it might come in handy if I need to set uh, a white base or something like that. Uh, speaking Speaking of, speaking of, y'all, I did a, I did a undead Daphne look the other day, 
and I painted my whole face green. I have never played with colored face paints and uh, and things like that. Y'all, it was in my hairline. I had to film a video right after that, uh, and it was super, super late, so I probably didn't clean my hairline uh, as, as well as I should have, uh, but I was re-watching. <laughs> I was re-watching the video. I, had, I still had green in my hairline. If any of y'all catch that, please let me know, but I still had green all up in my hairline. That stuff is some of the most difficult stuff to get off. It, it gets everywhere. Like you don't notice, you don't realize it just gets everywhere. Anyway, I thought this would be really nice to set some white base down with uh, the powder itself. <coughs> Excuse me. The powder, it's got a nice mirror in there. The powder itself is like a bright, stark white. Uh, it does have the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice embossed on the actual powder, which I love. That's a really great little touch. Uh, swatching it, it looks super, super white. So that is definitely a white powder. I, I'm thinking it's got a nice feel to it, though. It feels nice and soft, really silky and smooth. It's got quite a bit of body to it. Uh, so I feel like this probably would be a great setting powder uh, or all over the face, kind of like foundation-ish, uh, if you're trying to just like kind of do a ghostly kind of thing. Uh, definitely Halloween based, def definitely a seasonal product, but super cute nonetheless. Do I think that you probably need this? I don't think so. Uh, I think I think this is just kind of like a splurge by uh, probably one of the reasons it's still available on the website. I just don't really see the absolute need uh, for this product, but I think it's super cute and the packaging is absolutely adorable. So if you have the $6 to waste, I think it's cute. Uh, I think it's, you know, I can't tell you to go buy this one. I just don't know what you would use it for, <laughs> but I wanted it. So I got it. Uh, and last but not least, the P.S. de Resistance. We have the two little palettes. So these each retail for $10 a piece. Uh, I think that's a pretty fair price. Uh, I'm not, don't, I think the big palette retailed for like $20 or $25. So these little ones are pretty well priced, I guess. It's, it's about on par with uh, some of their other smaller palettes. So I got both of them. I have the, uh, which one is this one? This is the Tiny House. What is the name of this palette, sir? I have the house palette. Uh, I wanted this one so, so badly. I think it looked absolutely adorable. If I can figure out how to open it. Uh, I think the pictures on the, the website looked absolutely adorable. And I just, I wanted it so, so badly. The palette is actually in the shape of the house. Now, I will say that this packaging, it feels cheap. It is absolutely adorable, but it is really, really light. Uh, it feels, it feels like almost, I hate to be negative. You guys know that's not what I'm about on my channel. Uh, but I do want to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is, this feels very, very cheap. It is super, super light. Uh, I feel like the cardboard is would be easily bent or easily destroyed. So if you're getting this as a collector's item, I would say keep it in the box. Uh, but it is super, super cute. Like, it, it, I mean, it's the house. I love the stark relief. Like, you've got this purple and black kind of shadowed image. Super, super adorable. I even love that it's cut out in the shape of the house. I just wish it was a little bit heavier. It just, it's got a nice magnetic closure which is nice I just wish it was a little bit heavier and I just wish the materials that they had made it out of were just a little bit higher quality other than that it's a really really cute palette so the color story inside uh is I think super generic but cute nonetheless uh so instead of a mirror they give you uh Beetlejuice in all his glory which I adore. I think that right there is just so, so fun. Uh, and the actual color story itself, I haven't really looked at it, but you get one, two, three, four, five shimmers and four mattes. It is a nine pan palette. I will say the pans are very, very tiny, uh, but let's swatch some of them. Let's, let's see. Let's not judge before we get our fingers in there. Uh, so I want to go into, I want, of course I want to go into this gold. Is this like an olivey gold? Well, that looks really pretty. Let's see what it looks like on the back of my hand. That's really pretty. A really beautiful true gold. Uh, let's go into this purple shimmer right here. It's more of like a periwinkle purple. Very, very metallic. Very, very reflective as well. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, they're a little softer. They're a little softer than I was expecting them to be. But I feel like if you used it with a wet brush... It's got a beautiful amount of shine to it, though. Softly pigmented, but nice and reflective. 
let's go into let's go into a deeper shimmer let's go into this one right here so definitely a different texture and a different formula so this one is still really beautifully reflective but it felt softer in the pan yeah and this one's definitely more pigmented that's really pretty um these two these two super metallic ones this one and this one uh they felt really hard and really like uh, tightly pressed, like hard pressed, uh, not so much hard pan, but just really pressed hard into the pan. This one definitely felt a little bit softer. This one's another one of those kind of more hard pressed swatches, but super, super reflective and super metallic. That's a really pretty like bronzy taupe color. Very, very soft color story. Not exactly what I would pick or like what I would have thought uh, the color story I would have thought of when I think of Beetlejuice, but it's an interpretation uh, and I'm not entirely mad at it. Let's check out some of the mattes. So you have this really beautiful deep purple. Ooh, that feels really nice. Nice and pigmented as well. There it is swatched. That swatched beautifully. Nice and deep. Hopefully that goes on the eyes really well. You also have a deep chocolate brown. That swatched really well as well. And then you've got like two softer purples. This one's more of like a pastel purpley pink. And then you have a mid-tone purple. So there's your color story. Very, very pretty. Uh, I think it's colorful, but still pretty neutral uh, as well. I think that you have options here for sure. I, I have a feeling that this is going to make a really, really pretty eye look. We're going to play with it uh, probably in my next video, but there is it swatched out. I think it's super, super cute. Uh, again, it was $10. This is the Little House Palette Beetlejuice X Revolution. And then last but not least, we have this one right here. It says, I myself am am strange and unusual. Guys, this one I'm super excited for. This one seems like it's going to be a little bit brighter. I, again, haven't looked at... The, where did I, my tweezers go? I haven't looked at the actual color story yet, so we're going to experience it together. I think the packaging on this is super, super cute as well. I, of course, prefer this one just because you get to see the little house uh, through the window. I, again, also appreciate the fact that they did uh, different packaging for everything. It's not all one generic box. Every, every product is unique and special. Every product is its own. It's not all just kind of lumped in together in the same packaging. I really love that they took the time to really package everything separately. They really stuck to the theme, but they gave you a really well-rounded, like, all-encompassing collection right they touched on a little bit of everything uh, I love that all of the packaging is different everything is special everything is unique I just love 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 the way that they did this collection I really wish I would have been able to get my hands on the bigger palette but I am so so happy with everything that I got I just cannot bring myself to gripe too awful much so last but not least I myself am strange and unusual this too is a nine pan palette I think the packaging on this is much much better it seems much more sturdy it's definitely heavier uh, than the house palette they're about the same size but this one just feels heavier uh, this one again has a magnetic closure this one, I just think the packaging is just, oh, it's so cute. So you have a mirror, but it's in the shape of the cockroach, which I absolutely love. You open it up and then you have this really beautiful, like, it's pretty neutral. It's it's red. It's like warm neutrals, uh, but you have this really beautiful, like, red toned palette. Uh, so you have one, two, three, four, five, five shimmers and four mattes. So same setup as the other palette. Whereas the other palette had uh, on the, for the embossings, they had the windows for the embossings, which I love. Uh, this one, it seems like they have uh, kind of like whirlpools or I'm not sure what that is. If you guys know what that embossing is, let me know. I almost want to say like a, like a whirlpool or maybe a fingerprint. Doesn't really look like a fingerprint to me though. I'm not sure what that is, but they're super, super cute. Uh, let's do some swatching, shall we? Uh, let's go into this uh, strange, the shade strange first. It is a bright red metallic. 
super pretty. I think already this is more pigmented uh, than the others that we swatched. Uh, not quite as reflective, but definitely more pigmented. Uh, then we have the shade Prince Valium, which is a really pretty soft peachy pink. Ooh, that's almost duochromatic. It's almost got a little bit of a gold shift to it. So it's like pink to gold. Can you guys see that shift? Yeah, it is duochrome. It's got like a pink to gold shift to it. That is absolutely stunning. Then you've got Want to Get In. Ooh, I definitely prefer the formulas in this palette to the other one. They seem much more uh, saturated with pigment and they're definitely softer. So I'm going to tell you I already prefer this palette over the Little House palette. So there's that gold color. We have the shade Lydia, which is a slightly deeper, more pink red. That's really pretty. That almost has a little bit of like a gold shift to it as well. Not a duochrome, but it does have a little bit of a gold reflect in there. So all four of those shimmers are absolutely beautiful. And then the last shimmer we have is uh, Utterly Alone. And this one is another uh, like kind of red shimmer, but this one has more of an orange tone to it. So there is that last one. Really, really pretty. Uh, all very, very mid-toned shades. Uh, you have... You have this one and this one that could be a little bit lighter, but all of these are pretty much the same uh, tone. They're pretty much mid-tone shimmers, but they're all really, really pretty. As for the mattes, you have a deep black, which I enjoy. You have a, is that a pink or is that a red? I think that's like a really red or really like pinky red. Not really a crimson. Uh, I have a feeling that once you blend that out, out on the eye, it's going to look very, very pink. Uh, you have this deeper kind of burgundy color. You have the black. And then you have this really beautiful shade named Deets. And this one is going to be your transition shade. It's just the... You're kind of like light. I don't even know if that's going to show up on me. It's like a peachy, uh, peachy nude shade. But there is your color story for I Too Am Strange and Unusual, or I Myself Am Strange and Unusual. There is your color story. I think it's very, very pretty. It's uh, it, it doesn't have a ton of depth to it, uh, but I think for what it is, I think it's super, super cute. Uh, I think I prefer the color story uh, of this palette, but I prefer the formula of this one. So I don't know how much that helps you. Uh, if I were to have it over again, uh, I probably would just buy this one just because I think the formula is better. And I'm going to be able to use this one a little bit more, uh, a little bit easier just seems like the formula in here is a little bit easier to work with uh but this one the packaging is just so cute it's like it's like what do you do what do you do i wish that this packaging had this color story guys i love you so so much that's going to be it for today's video please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite product did you pick up anything from this collection did you get lucky like me and walk into your walmart and ah uh, see it like a shining beacon in the middle of the aisle uh guys as always i will list everything that i talked about in today's video in the description box below along with the tags to all my other socials uh instagram facebook tiktok all that good stuff i post every single day so if you're following me everywhere you don't have to worry about missing a moment of content uh as always no filters no edits no fancy lighting it's just me sitting in front of my camera playing with some makeup hoping you guys are enjoying what i'm doing and until next time my amazing mamas stay safe take care of yourselves and remember you're important Bye.